हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आर चैनल दिस इज सरबजीत सिद्धू सो टूडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट यू कैन डू फार्माको विजिलेंस कोर्स टोटली फ्री विदाउट एनी कॉस्ट इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू इंजॉय ज्वाइन एनी इंस्टीट्यूट और इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी डन सम सर्टिफिकेशन यू नो यू वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड योर नॉलेज सो दे आर आर रिसोर्सिस ऑथेंटिक रिसोर्सिस अवेलेबल दे आर यू कैन लर्न टोटली फ्री इफ यू आर स्टूडेंट सो लेट्स फर्स्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज़ फार्माको विजिलेंस सो एनी मेडिसिनल प्रोडक्ट से इट मे बी अ ड्रग और अ वैक्सीन यू नो और एनी थिंग सो इट कम्स विद टू थिंग्स वन इज बेनिफिट दैट इट विल क्योर एंड इट विल दैट बेसिकली अ ट्रीटमेंट दैट इज योर डिजायरेबल इफेक्ट्स राइट दैट वी वॉन्टेड टू क्योर इट इफ यू आर टेकिंग अ टैबलेट फॉर हेड एक द पर्पज इट इट विल क्योर दैट हेड एक राइट सो दैट इज आर ऑब्जेक्टिव दैट इट विल क्योर बट अलॉन्ग विद दैट सम अनडिजायरेबल इफेक्ट्स ऑल्सो कम दो आर नोन एज साइड इफेक्ट्स राइट सम इफ दीज साइड इफेक्ट्स दैन दीज आर मैनेजेबल इफ दे आर आर मेजर दैन एक्शन आर नीडेड राइट दैन एक्टिविटी दैट रिवॉल्व अराउंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ साइड इफेक्ट इज फार्माको विजिलेंस राइट बिकॉज वेन यू आर डूइंग अ क्लिनिकल ट्रायल क्लिनिकल स्टडी इट इज डन अंडर कंट्रोल्ड कंडीशन basically everything is controlled but when the product is in the market anyone can take that drug and lot many patients are taking and over long period of time and they may have all the other illnesses like say diabetes lifestyle disease or me elder people are also taking pregnant women are also taking so the side effects those are not uh, come in during clinical trial they are coming now so how to manage those side effect by the study by the pharmacovigilance now as per the who definition that it says you have to first thing is that you have to detect you have to basically identify what side effects are coming is there risk to heart health or what type of risk is coming that is detection that is number one then you will do second step is assess is it really related to that particular drug and one can say that um this drug is cause impacting your decision making and because of that decision making you may met with an accident so that you have to do a assessment that is it really related to drug or it the reason may be other so we have complete another video pharmacovigilance assessment you can visit that i may leave a link of that video so how assessment is done you can refer that video then third step is understanding what percentage is so if it is very rare only one in millions then management will be according to that if it is like 1% 15% then management will be different right and if the risk is major like uh, if it is causing uh, issues to heart or it, if it is pushing uh, putting patient on a risk high risk maybe uh, it is life threatening like you are serious adverse event so if you understood that accordingly you will take action the fourth step is prevention how you will prevent either you have heard so many times drug recalled if it is major if it is like causing any uh, serious adverse event drug may be recalled another is smpc will get updated or there will be information to the doctors the the physicians who are giving a treatment to a patient like this is the new signal signal is any new information which is coming new information is basically known as a uh, signal so they have to tell that be, because of this drug maybe heart stroke is the risk then you know, the physician has to manage accordingly doctor has to manage accordingly so there are four steps first आपको आइडेंटिफाई करना है कि कौन सा साइड इफेक्ट आ रहा है राइट देन सेकंड स्टेप इज असेस करना है कि क्या ये मेडिसिन के कारण आ रहा है न्यू ट्रीटमेंट के कारण आ रहा है देन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट परसेंटेज इस का आ रहा है देन प्रिवेंशन फोर्थ एक्शन इज सो दिस इज हाउ दिस इज इन नट दिस इज यूर फार्माको विजिलेंस डेफिनेशन एंड दिस इज टोटल फार्माको विजिलेंस नाउ कमिंग टू द फ्री कोर्सेज राइट so now you understand what pharmacovigilance is if it is really you wanted to pursue. and it is really very good career for pharmaco um, for the pharmacy student so opsala monitoring center set by who which is very high level institute opsala monitoring center they run free courses what are these courses 
first is regulatory aspect of pharmacovigilance basically introduction to pharmacovigilance essentials of pharmacovigilance communication collection of high quality atrs pb management and, and terminology practical exercises so if you wanted to choose you don't want to do all the courses i will show you the link also you can pick and choose you can at least do this regulatory aspect of pharmacovigilance right and this pb management system and terminology and if you have time you can do the exercises so every student who had wanted to make a pharmacovigilance you should do, be doing these courses and you will get certificate and can you imagine if you are having the certification from a Uppsala monitoring center, what a value you are adding to your CV. You will learn a lot and you will be adding a value. And tomorrow you are applying for a pharmacovigilance job and in your CV it is written that you have done a pharmacovigilance course from Uppsala monitoring center. It is going to add a lot of value. So now we will learn who can do the courses. So before that, I wanted to show you that this is Uppsala Monitoring website, see, Uppsala Monitoring Center, right? So there are courses, Introduction to Pharmacovigilance, which is of 45 minutes. And there are system, uh, courses like this I have shown, PB Management System, right? So in this, you will learn about tools, right? So there is a, another course, Regulatory Expect of pharmacovigilance so all these courses you can enroll here is you can see the green button you can log in you can create your account and you can enroll yourself in these courses so if i just wanted to show you what you will learn in your introduction course you will learn see how beautiful this course is see here you can enroll can you see this blue uh, tab sorry uh, not now i don't want to enroll so you can enroll here right and no access code is required it is written here and what you will learn it is very simple and see pharmacovigilance uh, vigilance definition that i have explained you in a snapshot what is history of pb there are a couple of lectures right then what is the burden of adverse drug reactions why we are emphasizing so much on pharmacovigilance why there is need of pharmacovigilance what is the goal of pharmacovigilance and these are the very fair questions those can be asked during interview what is scope there will be examples also and there are two parts two or three parts and then course summary that is on introduction to pharmacovigilance another management and system at least i will emphasize do these two courses it will take four hours right again enroll self-paced you can learn when you are having time so so what you can in this course management system and terminology of pharmacovigilance all the definitions and terminology those you are will be using in pb you will get to know here with the example um, this is icsr case processing right and signal management not only that introduction to medra right and introduction to who drug dictionary and busy flow how you process case cases right and database busy ways these are the very often asked questions during interview and effective signal management systems so at least try these two courses first is introduction to pharmacovigilance Second is PB management systems and terminology and it will be wonderful if you can do regulatory as well. Right? Now going back to our you know uh, video like who can enroll the uh, these Uppsala monitoring courses any individual who is working in the hospitals, academias or maybe pharmacy they can do this course for free if you are working for non-profit like if you are working in icmr or who any hospital who is non-profit you can do this course totally free right but if you are working with some company 
profit making company then you can't enroll and they are strictly regulating can you see the beauty of these courses that they are for non profit organization they are basically helping material now question coming to students can student take these free courses yes this is what they have written on their website yes student can take these courses totally free anyone who belong to academia can enroll their courses yeah so this is you can do your courses and even on their con page you can write them an email if you face some challenge it happens right so what you have to do is that you have to go to a catalog and you can choose your course and you have to as i have shown you the you have to press the enroll button once you push that enroll button that course will appear on your dashboard and not only that you will be having access to any course for 21 days so it's not like if you have started today you have to complete today no you have access to 21 days you can revisit that course and you can make notes if you do these courses you can pass any interview i guarantee you so uh, if i take you once again i wanted to show you sometime you have there is a waiting time for these courses because of course they are in such in demand and look at the credibility they are upsala monitoring center right so currently if you will press this course there is a waiting till 1st september so keep a watch and you know if i wanted to enroll it will show actually i don't have any academic email it won't show so it has a waiting for 1st september so you can start your course after 1st september right uh, so thank you so much uh, i hope this video you found it very helpful because once you choose these courses once you will do this you will get um, a certificate as well and immediately you should be adding that certificate to your cv now tomorrow some recruiter is um, you know selecting the cvs and they find that this is the certification course you have already done there are chances that your cv will select get selected and not only that it will enhance your knowledge the moment you will face interview you are having all these practical examples with you to talk and discuss so i hope this is very helpful and i will li leave a link to these um, courses in a description please visit that and i will also try to leave a link to you know pharmacovigilance assessment video so hope that all this will help you thank you so much